All right, I'm having a strange problem on my 2002 Mitsubishi Lancer 4G94 2 liter. So something's going on with the, I guess it's the cooling fan controller where I noticed the fans were just running all the time and like even when, you know, the engine was off, even when the temperature was like low, AC was off, everything, fans are running all the time and like running it variable speeds like fast and slow and fast again so I'm like wondering what's going on I checked the relays there's like two of them in here this is one this is the other they're both good so I don't think that's the problem but check out what it does so the fans aren't spinning now the temperature I checked with my scanner it's about 170 degrees AC's off and the you know the engine's not running so the fan should not be commanded on right now. But watch this. If I take my hand, this is the this is the fan controller as I understand it right here. And it's got like two plugs on it or three plugs I guess. It's got the one plug going into it and then one plug for each of the fans. But watch what happens if I press on this plug right here. Okay, you ready? I don't know if you can see, the fan starts spinning. This is like the, the throttle pedal for the fan. So that's freaking weird. So I'm going to go to the junkyard and get a new fan controller because I think something in there is shorted out or something. It's not really a problem, you know what I mean, to have the fan running all the time. But I'd rather fix it before the thing goes bad. And then, and see, now it's on constantly, this fan. It was doing both of them. Now it's just doing the one, so I don't know. But... Now it's doing that one slow speed constantly, and if I press on it, it speeds it up. But yeah, I'm going to go junkyard, see if we can get one of these cheap, and replace it. I went ahead and pulled off the fan controller. It's pretty easy. It's two 10 mils here and here, and then three plugs, one plug for each fan, and then one plug that's like the feed input side of it, I guess. Um, the way you test this is can be easily tested with a multimeter. I was expecting there to be like a hundred wires going into it, but it's actually very simple the way it works. So take it off with ignition on, right? All, all, we know we've got power going to the fans because the fans are turning, you know what I mean? So we don't have to worry about that. So you go to the, like the input side where you've got three, right? And the two outer ones should have battery voltage on it when you've got ignition on the whole time, right? So whole time battery voltage, which we do have. You can see we have 12 volts battery voltage. And then the middle one, right, is like the the trigger, I guess you'd call it, coming from the, the ECM, the computer. So when you have the AC on or something like that or the engine's hot, it sends, I believe it's a five volt signal to the guy to tell the fan to come on right so it's gonna be a little hard to do this with one hand but if we go in here we're seeing nothing right we're seeing zero but the fan and of course we have the negative still on the ground there but the fan still spins right so that tells me that we've got an internal short in that fan controller now I'm gonna go ahead and start the engine turn the AC on which I'm not gonna run it long because the fans aren't gonna run obviously but we should see voltage on there and if we do, then we'll know, you know, everything is working correctly and it's the fan controller that actually is the problem. So I'll go ahead and start the engine up. Well, I found it on eBay cheaper than the junkyard is going to want new. So that's the part number on it. MR4977512 bucks, free shipping. Um... Rock Auto has it, but it's like 52 bucks, so if we get that, that's too expensive. So we're going to go ahead and order that. Should be here in a few days, and then I'm going to show you how to swap it out. Five days have passed, and now the new controller is here. 
looks like the correct one, so that's good. And I've driven the car a few hundred miles. I drive this car every day, and now it's basically doing a thing where just whenever the ignition's on, the fan's on, basically. So I'll go ahead and turn the ignition on to show you. Both fans. We hear it speeding up. It's weird, just running at different speeds and everything, and slowing down. Bizarre. So let's go ahead and change out this controller. I don't know how good you can see, but I got the plugs all unplugged. This one I did by hand, and the bottom two I just used my my long screwdriver and just push down on the tabs and pull them down that was easy and then I used 10 mil socket to loosen off this and this 10 mil and then I'm just gonna go ahead and loosen them off the rest of the way by hand they're like self tapping screws to hold it in so let's go ahead and loosen that off This one. Cool, so there's the old one. There's the new one, they're both the same. And you get the idea of putting it back in, I'm going to not film that, but um, when I had it off the first time I found it easier to uh, plug the plugs in first and then put the screws in, makes it a little bit easier. So I'm going to do that and then we're going to go ahead and see if it's fixed. Well, the new controller is installed, the ignition is on, and the fans are not turning, so I'd call that fixed, but the ultimate test is going to be to start the engine up turn the AC on and see if the fans come on. So go ahead and do that. See the ignition's on, fans not running. Start her up. Go AC on. There we go, you can hear those fans turning big time. Awesome. Shut the AC off. And the fans are stopping. Cool. That's fixed. Oh, is that eleven dollar fix? Not too bad at all. This was a a problem with these cars. Uh, Mitsubishi's of this era, the fan controllers always had problems. And I think there was a recall, um, a recall because of it. But um, anyway, you know, that was an easy fix. And this car's too old to go in for a recall anyway. So. Yeah, if you're having problems with your Mitsubishi fan, if it's running all the time or not running or cutting in and out or whatever, probably it's it's the fan controller, but you can go ahead and test it the way I showed you. And it's a very super simple, cheap, easy fix. Thanks for watching.